what's up guys welcome back to another video i miss you guys so much but yeah we are back with another makeup tutorial for today so of course if you want to see how i achieve this look then make sure you keep on watching don't forget to leave a comment guys let me all know what you think about this look let's see this video if it comes up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that because why not yeah so of course guys with all do let's get right into this look bye guys welcome guys welcome back to another video welcome back welcome back welcome back yes guys so we're back with another makeup tutorial today some full glam look of course yeah so come on guys get your makeup stuff and yeah we're gonna do our makeup together so so first guys you want to make sure that you're starting off with a clean base i did went in with my rose water just to clean the face a bit i did wash my face so i wanted to just clean off the excess dirt and all that off my face to get my pores well you know yeah so i know you've seen some white stuff on my face because i did went in with some primer so i did went in with my moisturizer from ponds first just to kind of moisturize the face to prep it for our foundation and i did went in with my elf power grip primer the green one as my primer and then on top of that i went in with my mac max milk of magnesia sugar free great taste and it's a shake well and this one is the mint flavor and i went in with that all over well on the areas that i will normally get oily and i just put that all over my face so this dries white so just in case you're wondering why my face look white it's the milk of magnesia when it's dry so you guys do know how i normally do my brows so i went in with my brown eyebrow pencil and i went in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Almond and I use that to clean up both bottom and top and the top portion of my bra and I'm using my um, concealer brush just to kind of sketch those out. You feel like, you feel like, you feel like, you feel like rain in the morning. Mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion guys normally after i finish concealing my brows i like to go in back with my pencil just to kind of lighten them up a bit because sometimes what i do i will after finishing the brows i will go in with my powder just to set them so they're gonna have the powder um thing on the brow so i like to go in back with my pencil just to kind of touch it up a bit and then i well, when I will go in back with my um, brush I used to blend out the brows just to kind of make sure that everything is all set and just look at those brows guys you're looking like sisters and of course we love that so now I'm going in with my uh, Ruby Kisses matte foundation and concealer it's a 24 hour um, wear and I have it in the shade 420 this shade matches me very very well so I'm taking my flat top brush just to apply the product and also to spread it all over my face. And then I'm going in with my foundation brush just to blend it seamlessly into the skin. Remember guys, we only use pattern and tapping motion around here. We don't swipe our product, okay? Yeah, so we're going to tap, 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 pop, 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 swiper, no swiping. You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes Mix the potion Mix it up, 
girl, put it in motion Are you finding a time? It's no compromising Make up your mind We're running out of time It's so hard to try But it feels one sided Just make up your mind Lay it on the line Soft, baby, back You see the bottom Soft, baby, back You see the bottom Thorns out my clothes Your poison is spread to my soul You say you love me one day Next you don't Going damn well Alright guys, so our foundation is on And we're looking all You know, yeah So we're going in with our concealer And for today, I did choose to use The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer uh, I'm not sure of the shade on hand but I will leave it in the description box. I think it is for something. I really don't remember. Uh, okay, it's in the shade Caramel and that's number 40. So I'm just using this um, all over the places that I'll normally can see, which is under my eyes, forehead, the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and also on my chin. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my brush first. And then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender just to kind of seal the deal and seal everything into place. Oh boy. And I'm just taking my foundation brush just to kind of blend out the harsh lines in between the concealer and the foundation. Now I'm taking my Allegro Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany as a cream contour shade. And I'm just applying it on my forehead and also on the higher points of my cheek. And then I will be blending that out with my, uh, con uh, sorry, not concealer, but I will be blending that out with my contour brush. And then after blending that out, I will be going in back again with my um, brush and sponge just to kind of make sure that everything is all blended and looking seamlessly. Then I will be going in with my, I'm using two satin powders today. I'm using the black opal first on top. 
and then I will be taking my Juvia's Place I Am Magic um, setting powder and I will be using that on top of the black opal just to kind of uh, to set all the areas that I would normally um, set and then after that I will be baking the side of my nose as usual just to help with my reverse contour and then I will be going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark and I will be using the contour shade in that palette to set where I put the liquid, alright? So remember guys, you wanna, anywhere you apply liquid, you must set it with a powder, alright? So remember guys, if you're using a beauty blender, make sure that your beauty blender is damp, not soak but damp next to dry all right that will help with giving you a seamless blend all right so now i'm just taking my this is a new brush guys i love it love it so much the name that is on the brush is ashley lee and it's urban allure that's the name that i'm seeing there and it says angled contour brush I love this brush so much and how it's handled the product and also how it's blended everything, blended the contour shade on my cheeks. I will be using this brush to blend out the, to use it with the Juvia's Place bronzer palette. Uh, so I will be using it to bronze and also using it to apply my um, contour shade. Also, from that car, True Complexion Contour Palette, the Black Radiance one, I will be taking the shade that says Sculpt or Sculptor. I will be using that shade there to apply onto just the cheek, my jawline area there. I'm using that as a powder just to set that area there. So, we're using two palettes today, guys, to create our eyeshadow look. So I'm using the Amora's Yukambi, if that's how it's pronounced. I am using that palette today. And I'm using the Reversal Palette by Beauty Glades. So I will be taking from the Amora's palette, I will be taking the shade Love Bite. And I will be putting that on all, all over my lid. Not using it just as a transition shade, but I will be putting it all over my lid. So we're using two colors today. To create um, our look. actually three but one is more of like a glittery shade and then we're using two matte so I will be using from the reverse palette by beauty glades I will be using the shade black to apply as my crease shade and then I'm taking uh, and then the first shade would be um, love by from the amorous you can be palette so we're just gonna blend this up guys so as you're seeing me there I'm applying the product first and then I am going in with a circular motion. So we're going to pop the product first. And then we're going in with a circular motion um, to apply the product. And then we're going to blend that into the skin. So we're going to do that on both um, eyes. And then I'm going to take uh, the shade Acquisitive or Exquisite. Yeah. We're using the shade Exquisite from the Amorous palette as our cut crease color. So I will be using uh, the Elegar Pro Concealer in the shade White and Almond. And I will be mixing those two to use as my co uh, concealer to cut my crease. And after cutting my crease, and I will be going in with that. It's looking like... a uh, I don't know what color to call it guys it's more on the burgundy side yeah it's more on the burgundy purple ish color yeah so I'm just gonna use that just to apply on the area that I'm going to cut my crease if that makes sense so what you see me there guys I'm just applying the black just to kind of deepen the crease so when I cut the crease you will still be seeing the, the burgundy the purple shade and you will still be seeing that black yeah so just look and watch how I apply how I place and how I blend 
that's the three key steps of getting a flawless and matte finish when applying your eyeshadows. You feel like, you feel like, you feel like, you feel like rain in the morning, giving me mixed emotions, and it's too much sometimes, mix the potion, mix it up. Girl, put it in motion Are you finding a time? It's no compromising Make up your mind We're running out of time It's so hard to try But it feels one sided Just make up your mind Lay it all on the line Soft deep in your back You see the bottom Soft deep in your back You see the bottom Pulling your thorns out my clothes 
right guys so now i'm going in with my wet and wild um mega lint mascara and i'm just using that i have it in the shade black uh very black and i'm using this just to kind of prep my eyelashes so when i'm ready to apply my false eyelashes everything is all looking all good so now i'm taking my i'm going back in with the black radiance um true complexion palette i'm taking the shade sculpt and i was applying it on all the areas that i apply concealer and where i used to set with the powder just to kind of bring in back some life to the face and then after that i will be going in with my la girl pro um finishing powder press powder sorry and i will be using that on the inner parts of my face as well as the black radiance um, press powder I also will be using that I have it in the shade warm hazelnut so I'm basically using three powders on all the areas that I would normally highlight after applying press after applying my powder to set so I did went in with my Ruby kisses matte finishing finish setting spray uh, and I'm using that just to put all over my face just to kind of you know set it and all of that then i'm going in with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is all pressed and into the skin now i'm just going in with the powder uh this is the one from la girl press powder and i'm just using that just to kind of set the face i will be going back in with spray again just if you guys are wondering just kind to kind of tone down the lightness on their just to kind of tone on the lightness, sorry, um, focusing on the middle portion of my face. Now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Bronzer Palette and I'm using that just to kind of, once again, bring back some life to the skin. So we're going to use that just to bronze. I will be using that to chisel my nose as well. And then for blush, I will be going in with my Sweet Planet by Any Lady and i will be taking the shade circle as my blush for highlighter i'm going in with my regular black radiance um uh yeah so highlighter and everything is on so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up like comment and share with all your loved ones and friends and of course we'll see you guys in our next video bye guys